class after you see this next report. We checked out the carts you put your groceries in, and as Matt Mahar reports, what we found will definitely make you sick. They hold milk, eggs, and all your weekly groceries. Shopping carts are also designed to carry an even more precious cargo, your children. But how many times have you seen a shopping cart that was slimy, sticky, and downright disgusting? So should you be concerned? I really never put too much thought to it, but you know what? You should bring a wipe and maybe wipe them down or something. In a typical day, a cart can be exposed to drippings from poultry, blood from raw meat, and young children still in diapers. All are sources of contamination. To find out what germs could be lurking, we did some testing. We brought our hidden cameras inside supermarkets and tested carts, ones with young children in them. Like this one, where we saw a child putting his mouth on the handle. we to swap this. In all, we swapped 30 carts at nine supermarkets in New York and New Jersey, and focused on the areas most likely touched, like the handles and the areas around the seats. The swabs were sent to an independent lab and tested for bacteria and fungus that can cause disease. Several days later, we shared the results with some of the moms we met at the supermarkets. Like Alana Foy, who we found shopping the previous week with her two children. The, the results came back with three types of bacteria, uh, easily within her reach. The most serious of which was Enterococcus faecalis, which is actually, uh, indicates fecal matter. Hello. Oh, that's uh, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> and Michelle Saldana also had fecal matter on her card. Very scary. We found several types of bacteria and fungus that could cause disease, especially in people with fragile immune systems, like children. I've never seen a shopping cart cleaned, you know, in my entire life. I mean, they just, they, they wheel them inside at the end of the day, and that's all I've ever seen them do. Dr. Kelly Reynolds, a microbiologist at the University of Arizona, wasn't surprised by our results. She also tested shopping carts as part of a university study on germs. Our study and your study seem to indicate that shopping carts are frequently contaminated. On some carts, Dr. Reynolds found bodily fluids like blood, mucus, and saliva. She says the shopping carts she tested were dirtier than some public bathrooms. The fact is, bathrooms are frequently cleaned and disinfected. Shopping carts, carts are not. So how could a dirty shopping cart make you or your child ill? Simply by touching the cart and then putting your hands to your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. You could be infecting yourself with some pretty nasty germs. To see how easily germs can spread, we coated this cart with a fluorescent marker to simulate potential bacteria. Anyone touching that area would get a mark only visible under a black light. <laughs> we gave that cart to Margot Drucker and her four-year-old son Jonah for a trip to the supermarket. It didn't take long before Jonah was touching his face, areas around his mouth, forehead, and eyes. And even his mother playfully touched his face after she touched the handle. <laughs> then we brought Jonah and his mom back to our studios and put them under a black light. Oh, my God. Jonah had markings from the shopping cart all over his face, clothes, and hands. I'm shocked. This is really unnerving. So how can you prevent germs from being transferred from the shopping cart handles to you or your child? The solution may be very simple. I think we have come up with an idea that might eliminate that. Tim Redman is general manager at Gelson's Markets of California. It's one of the few supermarket chains doing something to address this problem. They offer antibacterial wipes when shoppers pick up their carts. Hey, you appreciate the fact that this store offers something like this? Yeah, uh -huh, it's incredible. I, I couldn't believe it. As for the major supermarkets, we called the 10 largest chains in the country, and only two called us back. They said they wash their carts several times a year. So what can you do to protect yourself? Use your own antibacterial wipes like the ones we found at Kelson's Market. And for parents, you can purchase protective covers for the carts. It is a potential risk for a serious disease. One supermarket company told us they've never heard of any illness attributed to shopping carts.